Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and today we're going to be discussing the Hot Pixels module. Hot Pixels are pixels that have failed to record the light level correctly. So we end up with a bright pixel on the photo. It's either completely white or a single color. And that is usually caused by old sensors uh, you get two kinds, either a stuck pixel, which is a pixel that's always at one, as if it's always eliminated, whatever the conditions are, or you have uh, hot pixels that appear uh, because of high ISO, long time exposure on old sensors, so some of the pixels will become hot and appear, as like I said, as a star, as you, see, you can see in this photo. It was actually quite difficult to find one in my photos, but after a while I decided to call it a day and just use this photo. Most of these will probably not be hot pixels, but actual stars, so we'll see what we can do with this and if we can use it to illustrate how to deal with hot pixels using the hot pixels module. So the way this module works is that it will compare each pixel to four of its neighboring pixels, and if the difference is more than the threshold here, it will be replaced by an average of the pixels surrounding it. Let's enable it and see if there is a difference directly. It's difficult to notice anything. But if you click on the mark fixed pixels checkbox here, it will show you all the pixels that it fixed in the image. And as we can see here, it fixed zero pixels, so the default settings had no effect on this image. I'm gonna keep it checked to see how our settings will change the results that we get from the module. The first setting is a threshold. The threshold defines the difference needed between each pixel and its neighbors for the module to act on it. Higher threshold would mean less pixels will be affected. Lower threshold will do the opposite and more pixels will be affected. Let's put that to the test. There you go. Put it on zero. It will take a lot of pixels from the sky, but we can see the effect, the higher the threshold, the less pixels are affected. The next value we can change is the strength. And strength is the blending strength of the hot pixel with its surrounding. As far as I can understand it, I think it's how far away the pixels from the hot pixel will be used to average the value of the hot pixel itself. Now, I might be mistaken and I don't know how that will be translated into how far. Now, playing around with it, it seems that lower strength is producing less artifacts, but I think that is exactly what I was saying. A higher strength would mean that the value of the hot pixel is computed from further afield, which, because this is a photo of the starry sky, will mean that more stars or other hot pixels will be included in that uh, calculation. So I guess the way to use it is to play around with it and see what works with the photo at hand. Next, we have the detect by three neighbors, which would make the module more sensitive to hot pixels, because instead of comparing each pixel to four of its neighbors, as the default is, it will compare it to three, which means that you'll find more hot pixels in the image. And the last one is mark fixed pixels, which we've already discussed. It 
will show you how many pixels were fixed and it will actually put a line on them on the photo and here we go a short and sweet video to get us back on track it's been a while um, life got in the way and I didn't have any time to record any videos for a while if you have any questions comments or remarks please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time bye bye